Well, our Muslim friends are finally beginning to recognize something more glaringly obvious than the law of contradiction. Jesus is better than Muhammad. This just in. I am Muslim, but I don't like these things about Prophet Muhammad, like sex slavery, allowing his companions to have sex with war captives, killing those who criticized him, worldly desires like women, perfumes, and foods. I love the most Prophet Jesus. He was celibate, didn't own or trade any slave, didn't kill any living beings, healed people. Prophet Jesus was best and greatest. Rahmatulil Alamin status is best suited to Prophet Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. Rahmatulil Alamin is an Arabic phrase that's translated as mercy to the worlds or mercy to mankind. In Surah 21, verse 107 of the Quran, the great God Allah says to Muhammad, and we have not sent you, but as a mercy to the worlds. So Muhammad, according to Islam, was sent as a mercy to the worlds or to mankind. And yet, even Muslims are starting to realize that such a title would be much more appropriately applied to Jesus. Why is that? Well, let's compare the two. According to Islam's most trusted sources, Muhammad was a man who was convinced at one point that he was demon-possessed, tried repeatedly to commit suicide, admittedly delivered revelations from the devil, complained that he was a victim of a magic spell that gave him delusional thoughts and false beliefs, supported his religion by robbing people, started a war with Mecca when he had a chance to live in peace in Medina, had people assassinated for criticizing his religion, beheaded hundreds of Jews for trying to defend themselves once they realized he was eliminating them, ordered his followers to execute anyone who leaves his religion, commanded his followers to violently subjugate the entire world, tortured people for money, bought owned, sold, and traded black African slaves, called Ethiopians raisin heads, and claimed that Satan looks like a black man, had sex with a nine-year-old girl, had at least nine wives at one time, even though his own revelations only allowed four, married the wife of his own adopted son after causing the divorce by lusting after her, had sex with his slave girls, broke the promise he made to his wives that he would stop having sex with his slave girls after he got caught with a slave girl in the bed of his wife, Hafsa, allowed his followers to rape their female captives, took the most beautiful captives back to his own tent, told his followers that they could beat their wives into submission, declared that women are stupid and that their testimony is unreliable, promoted idolatrous pagan practices like kissing the black stone and bowing down to the Kaaba, plagiarized forgeries and passed them off as revelations from God, portrayed God as deceptive and Jesus as a complete failure, and has kept more people from knowing the true God than any other false prophet in history. That's Muhammad, a mercy to the world, as long as all of those worlds are in opposite world. By contrast, Jesus created the universe sustains the universe in existence, laid aside his glory so that he could enter creation as a human being to suffer for our sake. As to his human nature was born of a virgin, fulfilled dozens of Old Testament prophecies, miraculously fed thousands of people on more than one occasion, walked on water, could calm storms by speaking, healed the sick, cleansed the lepers, cast out demons, raised the dead, made the lame walk, gave sight to the blind, gave hearing to the deaf, gave hope to the oppressed, confronted and rebuked their oppressors, broke down the barriers that kept people divided by race, class, and gender, ordered his followers to love everyone, including their enemies, commanded his followers not to use violence in his name, endured torture and death for our sins, told the Father to forgive those who crucified him, rose from the dead, and gives us his righteousness so that we can know God. If we had to call someone a mercy to mankind or a mercy to the worlds, and our choices were A, Muhammad, and B, Jesus, answer B would stand out like a ballerina in a mosh pit, like a love song at an ISIS prayer breakfast, like a rational thought at an Antifa rally. And even Muslims are starting to notice. If you'd like to watch the video that our Muslim friend was commenting on, be sure to click what Muhammad did when he saw a beautiful woman.
Spoiler alert, it's not what Jesus would have done. But it just never is, is it? 